A Malaysian plant is used to remediate a contaminated industrial site. This plant grows at a rate of 0.04 cubic meters annually, has a specific gravity of 0.7, and its uptake rate of contaminants is 1.24 liters per kilogram. This plant can grow up to a volume of 2.5 cubic meters, but it is a best management practice to trim and dispose of 85% of the plant once it reaches 75% of its maximum volume to maintain this uptake rate. For a site with a contaminant plume estimated to be 5,000 gallons in volume, the approximate number of plants needed to eliminate the contamination in seven years is most nearly A, 65, B, 75, C, 85, or D, 95. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will be discussing phytoremediation. Phytoremediation is a generic term for the group of technologies that uses plants for remediating soils, sludges, sediments, and water contaminated with organic and inorganic contaminants. Phytoremediation can be defined as the efficient use of plants to remove, detoxify, or immobilize environmental contaminants in a growth matrix through the natural biological, chemical, or physical activities and processes of the plants. Plants are unique organisms equipped with remarkable metabolic and absorption capabilities, as well as transport systems that can take up nutrients or contaminants selectively from the growth matrix, soil, or water. Phytoremediation involves growing plants in a contaminated matrix for a required growth period to remove contaminants from the matrix or facilitate a mobilization or degradation of the pollutants. The plants can be subsequently harvested, processed, and disposed of. Plants have evolved a great diversity of genetic adaptations to handle the accumulated pollutants that occur in the environment. Growing, and in some cases harvesting plants on a contaminated site as a remediation method is a passive technique that can be used to clean up sites with shallow, low to moderate levels of contamination. Phytoremediation can be used to clean up metals, pesticides, solvents, explosives, crude oil, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, and landfill leachates. It can also be used for river basin management through the hydraulic control of contaminants. So this problem will require mass balancing and unit convergence to reach our answer. The way I would attack this problem is to get a unit uptake rate for one plant, then use that rate to divide into the total volume of contamination to get the total number of plants we need. So first, let's normalize the units for our uptake rate to match the units for volume contamination. Realizing that there's 3.78 liters in one gallon, we can use this to convert our uptake rate of 1.24 liters of contaminant per kilogram of plant to 0.33 gallons of contaminant per kilogram of plant. Next, we will convert the volumetric growth rate of our plant to a mass growth rate. We have the plant specific gravity and we know that there is 1000 liters per cubic meter. Using this information, we can convert this growth rate of 0.04 cubic meters per year to 28 kilograms of growth per year. Now that we have the annual mass growth rate for one plant, we can multiply this by the uptake rate of contamination per kilogram of plant, and we get an annual uptake of 9.24 gallons of contaminant. We can now take the contaminant uptake rate for one year and extrapolate it over seven years, and we get an uptake of 64.68 gallons over seven years for one plant. Now that we have the uptake rate for one plant over seven years, we can divide this into the vo total volume of contamination on site and we get an answer of 77 plants needed. This answer is closest to B. Some people will try to incorporate the percentages of trimming and disposal into these calculations, but these facts are not needed as we are only focusing on contaminant removal. Join us for episode 16 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.